a greeting. So this is going to be a general love energy reading for the Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for March 2019. This reading is um, targeted toward those who have a past lover or a past connection come back in within this month. I'm sorry, give me one second. Mama, what's wrong? Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. You want a card? Look, what's that? Oh, you dropped it. Here. No, why do you have to eat it? No. Um, sorry. This reading is more targeted toward those who have a connection reconnecting. Uh, not necessarily those who are hoping that someone or thinking that someone may come back in or um, yeah, all of those things. This um, this is not to say that an uh, ex-lover is coming back. This is just if they do to provide you with the clarity that you need on why and where things are flowing, etc., etc. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can check the description box below. All the information you need is there. If you are interested in doing daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit God Insight. I also will be um, in the near future posting something about how um, a subscriber slash follower of my Instagram can win a free reading. So look out for that. Thank you to all of my old and my new subscribers. Those of you who are not subscribed, please subscribe. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up, comment if you wish. I'd love to hear from you. Now let's see what's going on. I'm going to a couple more times. Aries, 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 Aries. Mama. <laughs> okay, I'm about to get you. I know. I know. Come on, man. Are you okay? And then no touch it. It's a no touch it. It's a no, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, come on, you eat the milk. Okay, so I'm really sorry. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The just the Justice card in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Swords. The High Priestess and the Two of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Swords. So what I'm getting from this energy here is that pers this person wants to keep you as an option. I feel like this person um, probably was never com committal in the beginning. Or there was just a this was just a person who had a lot of options. I feel like... Um, they're wanting to have you back as an option or they're wondering if they still have you as an option despite there not being um, a connection or you you guys may have not been spoken, speaking for a while or um, yeah. Give me more clarity on the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles and the Prince, please and thank you. Let's see. Um, I get here that this person's intentions is to be deceptive. I feel like they're trying to be decept deceptive in the way um, that they're being deceptive in the sense of trying to make emotions of their seem like a certain way, but it's not the certain way they're trying to present it. I feel like you know this with the High Priestess and the Two of Wands in reverse. 
um, there's an understanding that you have about this person within your intuition or just what that you feel or just what that what you know that this person is a short-term kind of energy I feel like with the eight of cups in reverse and the ten of wands this person um, doesn't want to walk away because there's been like a lot of investment into this relationship I feel like they I hate to say it like this, but I feel like this person kind of, kind of sees this connection as a project. It's kind of like building different projects and always having potential to go on to the next project. Or when I get bored with this project, then I'll go to this project. It's kind of an energy like that. Um, why is the Justice card in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse? I feel like this um, person has no genuine intention of re-sparking the connection. We have the six of the six of swords. Re-sparking the connection. I also feel like they have no intentions in being honest about what their true emotions for you are and what and for what the connection is. Give me more clarity. Thank you. I think this person just wanted things to kind of calm down. To kind of give you time to rest and then try to come back before it was too late. Um, we have the Queen of Cups here. So, um, there's some emotional fulfillment here, I feel. And I feel like maybe you're nurturing to this person. Um, you just provide them with some kind of emotional security, I feel like. The Four of Swords. I feel like this, yeah, this person was giving you time to breathe and think and kind of like heal and things of that sort. Um, so that you could be the energy that they want when they come back. So we have the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there's already been clarity shown that this person um, is just kind of in it for their own intentions. Got the seven of swords in reverse. So the deception is known. It's like this person comes in with their intention. They get what they want and then they kind of dip after that. It's like I got what I wanted. Let me see. Yeah, the higher fit in reverse. There's not going to be anything committed here or anything. Um, what? Yeah, I don't feel like there's going to be any real commitment in this situation, and you know it. But let's clarify with the High Priestess and the Two of Wands in reverse. Why is the High Priestess and the Two of Wands in reverse? Okay, so we got the six of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like there's no real stability here for you um, individually or otherwise. I feel like um, this is just something that needs to be let go of. I feel like you don't feel like you get recognized for the energy that you put into this person. I feel like you also feel like, like I said, it's short term. It goes to a certain extent and then it ends and I feel like it has to do more so with intimacy than it does with actual love or anything like that for you and maybe love but I feel like this person kind of sees this connection more so on an intimate level and not to say just sex for some of you or for a lot of you that's probably what it is but it could be other things as well like the nutrient side of it um the you know just like having meals together stuff like that acting like you guys are a couple but not a couple okay so we have the queen of pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords let's see what that's about what's wrong mama clarifying the ten of swords and the queen of pentacles in reverse please and thank you divine spirit Okay, so we got the strength card in reverse. So I feel like you you know that you're not confident in this situation. And you know you don't feel stable in this situation. And I feel like it's just going to lead to another bad ending. I feel like this person has like this energy of they, where they feel like, like I said, it's like to see if you're still an option. It's like a kind of possessive energy that like, oh, well, we're not together. 
and I know we broke things up and I know I did this, this, and that. But let me make sure you haven't moved on to someone else is what I'm getting. So, um, yeah. And it's also Mercury retrograde. So I'm sorry, but a lot of these readings with past lovers coming in is going to talk about um, ending it. Because that's the whole point of this retrograde right now. So, um, I hope that this resonated for you. Like I said, you can check your moon and your rising and your reading sign to get more clarity. You also can book a personal reading with me. Thank you to all of my subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and I'll see you all next time.